video, this video that you are about to watch is one that thousands of earth signs have toiled to make happen. Out of all of the freaking zodiac elements, earth signs are the freaking naggiest. Y'all be DMing me every day, commenting every day, when are you gonna do earth signs, when are you gonna do earth signs? Listen, I was waiting for Virgo season, and now it's here. So here I am, the people ask, I deliver. Here is the third installation of our beloved Zodiac lookbook series. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I love your enthusiasm, I love that you guys are freaking banging on my door asking for content. So, here goes. Hope you really enjoy. Guess who I am? Taurus! I'm actually a Taurus moon and you know, the more I grow into myself and the more I discover myself mentally and emotionally, I do really freaking resonate with Taurus. The Taurus is the most sensual sign of the zodiac. We are ruled by Aphrodite, which is the goddess of love. And we love all things luxury and pampering ourselves, but we also incredibly value security and stability, which I thought was emanated in the flowiness and the sensuality of this top, but it's also just very structured. I love how the shoulders have this point and how it flares out like an hourglass figure. This dress has easily skyrocketed to be one of my favorite dresses in my closet, and it is from Free People, but I actually got it through ThreadUp, who is happily sponsoring today's video. This dress arrived in this sexy box oh. right here and if you guys don't know, let me give you the freaking lowdown. ThreadUp is an online thrift store that boasts over 40,000 brands with new arrivals coming in every single day and their price is going up to 90% off estimated retail. I personally am obsessed with ThreadUp because shopping tastes sweeter when you get things for a deal, okay? And if you can be environmentally conscious while doing it, why the frick wouldn't you do it? That is why I shop at ThreadUp. It is so easy to thrift and find amazing brands such as free freaking people. If you guys are interested, use Katie at checkout to get 30% off your first order. I don't know why you wouldn't. This dress's estimated retail price was $128 and I got it for $49.99. Hello? Taurus outfit number does. I freaking love this bag. This bag makes me so happy. Every time I put it on, I feel like an instant baddie, which is what Tauruses are. I went for a more boss girl outfit. It's kind of a 180 from the sensual dress, but because Tauruses really, really value stability and they feel the most secure when they are consistently investing money into their bank account to save for the future. And so I thought this is a woman who looks like she has her shit together. And on top of that, Taurus's official color is green. I feel like some of y'all are gonna fight me in the comments and say, this is yellow. No, it's a freaking lime green. Okay, that's what I'm choosing to see. I love the chain strap detailing on this bag. Gold, bold, anything adds an instant level of badassery. And this bag was thrifted. It was originally $60 and I got it for $28.99. This top is from Free People. It was originally $58 and I got it for $25.99. And if you're not feeling like the exposed tank, which oftentimes I'm not, we throw over a coordinating mint green blazer. What the frick? Look at these different shades of green. I'm vibing. practical, detail-oriented, systematic, perfectionist, but also sweethearts and total helpers. Selfless. All those adjectives, mix them up, put them into a concept, and you get light academia. Virgos really, really like structure, and so I went for these puff sleeves, which are the most structured puff sleeves I have ever seen. Like, every single ridge and detail is perfectly orchestrated to stay. I went for these very academic looking loafers and this satchel purse. This bag is called the Call It Spring Cross Body Bag. It was thrifted from Thread Up. The estimated original retail price was $35 and I got it for less than $15. I also went for paperclip earrings because all the Virgos I know are very studious and they have their sh together in the classroom and the office. Paper clips hold all the sh together in the office. So you see the, the recurring theme out here and then a claw clip because they gotta get all their hair out of the way while they do their dutiful good work because they're just very hard workers. 
extremely hard workers. For Virgo outfit number two, don't worry, this isn't the full fit. I want to start from the base layer just to show you guys how I build an outfit that is very multi-dimensional and layered. For this fit, I really want to channel beige and brown tones because those are the Virgo's colors. Look at what a little short sleeve suit jacket and a blazer will do. So this is the first layer. We're channeling kind of office lady who is new in town, but she's still a cat lady and everybody knows she's a cat lady and we don't want to channel that aesthetic. We're gonna throw on this beige blazer, which I think is so Virgo. I don't know, it just screams Virgo to me. Once you have the two layers on, I always make sure that the lapels from the under layer stick out. And then I'm going ahead and buttoning the under layer jacket just so that the bottom fabric still peeks through, but it cinches the waist so it adds a little hourglass illusion. Now we have of a three-toned neutral themed outfit. Wow. We can go a step further if you want. I'm not sure if I would do this, but I'm just showing it as an option. I have this pearl belt and this can cinch the waistline if you feel like that is a little lost here. And we're not done. Gotta throw on a bag with gold accents because your shoes are black with gold accents as well. And it channels a little bit more of a professionalism vibe, right? Do you see how we can play with the soft baby doll aesthetics of the pearls and the A-line dress and then neutralize it with some black structured gold bold stuff? This is just a little look into my thought process of how I put together a fit. And this is my second Virgo outfit. It's like soft girl, but still badass. And she's going to the office and she knows what she's doing. Hello, hello, this is Capricorn speaking. <laughs> wow, I look so, I'm intimidated by my own freaking reflection. Uh -huh -huh. To be honest, I didn't know much about Capricorns until I met one and her name is Angelica. You might have seen her in my Hawaii blog. Now I can wholeheartedly say Capricorns are just bosses. They're workaholics. They pride themselves on their workaholic tendencies and they're like the closest thing to perfect and it pisses everyone off. But at the same time, you can't hate them because they're so likable and fun in the life of the party. So I went for bright, funky colors because they just attract a lot of good people. They love to have fun. And the reason why I drenched this trench coat over and not like actually put my arms through the sleeves is because I envision whoever this woman is, this persona, she is constantly in a limo or being ushered by a bodyguard so there's a lot of body heat so she never has to fully put on her coats she's barely outside but i use that same technique that i did in the virgo of layering this shirt jacket right underneath to create an extra layer so it just draws the eye a little bit more this clutch is what i like to think is the statement piece of this whole outfit because it's the darkest most vibrant part and it's actually from thread up it's originally from top shop and the original retail price was 45 and i got it for 11.99 it's a clutch because this girl is so boss that she has men all around her carrying her things for her so she just needs like a lipstick for jewelry, I know we've been channeling a lot of gold, bold jewelry, but this is the goldest, boldest, chunkiest earring I have. And I thought that that really streamlines the boss energy that I wanted to emanate. Connect with me on LinkedIn if you're a Capricorn because I know you're going places. <laughs> I'm kidding. Am I? Now, if the last Capricorn outfit was an employed person, this is what I imagine Capricorn would wear as a student. It's a little more laid back, a little more casual and comfy, but you can still kind of tell that they have their sh together. One of Capricorn's signature colors is brown, so I thought I'd channel the heck out of that with this sweater, as well as this bag, which, isn't this bag freaking gnarly? We can say that this Capricorn is manifesting this eventual luxury handbag because they will definitely get there because they work so freaking hard. It's only a matter of time. And of course, a foolproof combo with brown is to pair it with white, which I did here with this blouse and skirt, and these white sneakers, which are Everlane, but thrifted from, you guessed it, baby, Thread Up. These babies were originally $98, and I got them for $37.99. What I love about the sweater is that it has these slits, so it allows the white and the blouse to peek over here, and I find that tucking it in the corner and allowing it to swirl out preserves a little bit of your shape. This Capricorn is ready to get straight A's and be on our way to world domination. Earth signs, hope y'all enjoyed this meal that y'all have been begging for, that I have been preparing for many, many months. 
Hope, hope you're full. If you're not, feel free to leave a Yelp review in the comments, roast me. I do not care, I go crazy, go stupid. I would love to hear your feedback as to whether you thought it was accurate or not. It's always fun for me to read. And in case y'all forgot, if you guys are interested in trying out ThreadUp after seeing the freaking cute ass pieces that I thrifted in this video, make sure to use my discount code Katie for 30% off your first box. Stay tuned for air signs and our Zodiac lookbook series will be completed. Oh my God, that's crazy. I started this series many, many months ago and it is honestly crazy to see my evolution in my own style and how much more comfortable I've gotten with my fashion sense. So this has been a great progress journey for me as well. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed coming along and we still got a little bit of ways to go. I love you guys so much. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next week. Yeah.